Hello everyone. Welcome to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create this. Open Adobe After Effects. Go to the File menu, then import the required music. Select the music, and click Import. Drag and drop the music here, to create a new composition. Let's check the music. By the way, you can download this music file from my website. Select the rectangle tool. Set the fill color to white. And set the stroke to none. Double click on the rectangle tool to create a shape. Go under the rectangle 1. Then rectangle path 1. Now, uncheck the constraint proportions. Change the width to 30. And height to 125 pixels. Click this little LED button, and choose repeater. Go under the repeater 1. Change the copies to 30. Under the transform repeater 1, change the X position to 40. Adjust the anchor point accordingly. Cool. Rename the shape layer to levels. Select the pen tool. Set the fill color to none. And set the stroke to solid color. The stroke width should be 135 pixels. Create a straight line just above the level's shape. You can also adjust the stroke width to cover the level's shape. Rename the shape layer to Gradient. Right click on the Gradient layer, go to Layer Styles and choose Gradient Overlay. Go under the Gradient Overlay Properties. Change the angle to 0 degrees. Click on Edit Gradient. Let me set the level colors. You can choose any colors you like. Looks good to me. Right click on the gradient shape layer. And choose pre-compose. Rename it to the gradient. Drag the gradient composition just below the level shape layer. Go to track mat. And choose alpha mat. If you don't see the track mat option. Then click this toggle switches button. As you can see, nothing is happening. Now, right click on the soundtrack. Go to Keyframe Assistant, and choose Convert Audio to Keyframes. It will create a separate layer for audio keyframes. Go under the Audio Amplitude layer, then under the Effects. Select and delete the left and right channels. Go under both layers. Go under the Levels layer. Then under the Repeater 1. Hold the ALT key on the keyboard, and click the copies to add an expression. Drag the pick whip to both channels slider. Let's see the result. Looks perfect to me. Go under the rectangle path 1. Change the roundness to 20 to make it looks more professional. Let's see the final result. By applying this technique you can create an amazing audio level meter in After Effects.
Don't forget to like, share and comment. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.